aside from last night's loss and coming out early like that, what do you think of the way you're on this? Well, you, um, one thing is for certain, we got a strong group of men in that clubhouse, and they responded today in a way that you would, you would be proud of, and I'm proud of them. There were so many good things that happened today. What stands out the most to you from this game? I'll tell you, for Jonathan Singleton to be having, you know, the game in which he was having earlier, and that there is a huge, huge tack on run right there. Being able to put the strikeouts aside, the yeah, at-bats, we felt like he really missed a few pitches. And to go left on left and drive in that run, I felt like that was probably one of the biggest break points of the game. But like you said, there were many break points, but I felt like that was probably one of the pivotal break points of the game right there. How about, how about 20 sip and that strikeout of Ian Kinsler? I mean, how big a break point was that? That was a big, I mean, obviously, you know, you're looking at the fact they had Kinsler sitting over there. And, you know, at that point, you just, you're going to bring in your best guy and force them to make a move. And they made the move and said, you know, one, obviously a pivotal break point there and being able to strike Kinsler out. How comforting is this turnaround for Feldman? I think in the last five starts have all been pretty encouraging. It's encouraging. I mean, I said this a couple starts ago that, you know, you start to see, you know, the fastball pop in the late life and the ball sinking like it was sinking early in the year. And I think he's finally all the way back. He feels real good with his mechanics and strong out in the game today. You referenced the base hit for Singleton, but the previous plate appearance, he drew the walk with the base loaded to force a run. Do you say anything to him at the end of six consecutive strikeouts, or you just kind of let him fight his way through it? No, that's not something that you want to talk about in game. You know, it's all it's all part of the game, and you know, you 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 stress to these guys day in and day out. You know, in your conversations with them, in passing, or just when we talk in general about just moving on, and that's always been our motto. You cannot change the past. The only thing you can do is focus on, you know, what's taking place right now. And John is a prime example, you know, of that. Putting those strikeouts behind, getting the bases loaded walk, and then the big RBI single. You think the bases loaded walk was a huge odds for him in advance of the base hit? I, I definitely think so. I think he saw the ball really well. And it, it being able to, because you look 3-0, and he actually had the green light. And it was a ball that was, you know, down in the way. It wasn't where he wanted it. And he was able to have discipline enough to take it. So that their quality at bat, I think, led to the next quality at bat. Which relievers couldn't you have used today? Say that one more time. What, what, any of the relievers could you have not gone to today? Well, I mean, I wanted to try to stay away from Qualls just because he had went back to back days. Um, and if I was going to bring him in the game, I wanted it to be for one hitter with the game on the line, not a, an extended inning. So I'm glad we were able to stay away from him. So we accomplished you know, all the feats. We were able to win the series and stay away from the guys that we wanted to stay away from. What about the quick start, Bo? Nine hits, first four innings. You guys got the ball rolling real quickly. I felt like that was very important, especially you know losing the game the way we lost the game last night. I thought that um, our guys did a great job of coming out and setting the tempo, ran the bases tremendously, and um, and just put a lot of pressure on the other team. The series that Altuve had, when was the last time you saw somebody be this in the zone? Um. I tell you, I've um, I've seen some players locked in, you know, in, in all my years of playing. But I'll tell you, the the impact of what Jose Altuve is having on the baseball game, I I I would have to really sit down and think about or have some numbers put in front of me um, that would make me think that there's someone who's had more of an impact on a baseball game the way he's having an impact right now. Um, like I said, in my opinion, this guy's the best player in baseball right now. And he's going out each and every day, and he's proving it. The offense as a whole also just had a big, big game. How encouraging was it that three guys had three hits apiece? Um, it was encouraging that we were able to get big hits today. You know, and those are you know some of the hits that have been eluding us. And what I like, what I like about our performance today is even you look at the bases loaded situation where we hit into the double play. We had some chance to slip away, but then again, when we gotten to those pivotal break points, we were still able to come through it. And it tells, it tells all of us a lot about our ball club, that you know, these, guys, these guys are mature. They're understanding that you, know, you have the Detroit Tigers coming here there in first place in the American League Central, and we're able to play the way we played for three days. It speaks, it speaks to the value and a lot about our ball club, and I'm extremely proud of this group.
Yesterday, a great play by LJ Hose in the outfield. Today, George Springer does the same off Miggy Cabrera. What did you see on that play? Um, I tell you, when he hit that ball, I, I was just saying stay in the ballpark. Um, you know, Cabrera has tremendous power, and George got back there with enough time and able to make an athletic play, but I was just saying stay in the ballpark. Do you expect to keep a six-man bullpen for the next for a few days? Um, that, will be, that will depend on Keiko. Um, he's going to throw a bullpen tomorrow, and we'll be able to see how that go and then make a decision, you know, after that. We good? Thanks. Thank you.